One of the real advantages of using social media is that it extends the classroom time beyond the normal boundaries. It's not a conversation just between the teacher and the student. Other students can buy in on that. It's really when you get that engagement of young people and get them to start asking the questions where that, that really um, important learning takes place. I use Facebook in my classroom to teach, to assess and to communicate with students in real time when they need it. When I'm doing my research or my, my homework at night and I find a fabulous site that I think my students will benefit from, bang, here's the link. I like this because what do you think? One of the really cool things is that when students are doing their homework, either I can help them if they ask a question or their classmates help them. Somebody will post it up there for them. Somebody will give them a link to somewhere that they need. And so they're beginning to use it as a tool uh, to help each other in their learning, which is fantastic. They're not entirely reliant on the teacher. Somebody once said in the staff room, I don't have time to teach kids about Facebook. And my argument is, we don't have time not to. Students are already going to be on Facebook. Always. They have automated notifications to their phone. So if I pop the homework there, or a discussion point, they're going to get it straight away, like that. They can't ignore it. So by having a Facebook group, they're getting the content that I need them to see right away. Also, they can't help but discuss their ideas. So if someone puts something up there, they're going to challenge them, they're going to argue. It helps them collaborate. It fosters a collaborative learning environment in the class. They, they trust each other more. It works for our school, it works for my class. Sociology is not done in a vacuum. Kids need to collaborate, otherwise they're never going to figure out the multifaceted points that they need to learn about society.